Hey guys, we're going to be looking at uh, gradients and normals in this session. Let's get started. Now you might remember this from last year, but to calculate gradient at any given point A, you basically need to differentiate f of x to get f dash of x, and then calculate f dash of A. Okay, having a look at um, a quick example. The example is calculate the gradient of the curve f of x equals x cubed minus 2x minus 3 when x equals to 2. Uh, let's just have a quick look at what this graph looks like. All right, there we go. At the blue point on that graph is where we're trying to figure out what the gradient is. So um, what we have is f of x, which is x cubed minus 2x minus 3. Uh, we could work out f dash of x, differentiate it. So we'll get 3x squared minus 2. And at this point, we would need to substitute uh, 2 into x or to figure out what the gradient is. So f dash of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 2. And this simplifies to 12 minus 2, which equals 10. So that means uh, the gradient at when x equals to 2 is 10. Now the next thing we're going to look at is um, tangent. Now you can kind of think of it as tangent to a curve at a point is the line that passes through the point and has the same gradient as the curve at the point. So if we have a look at the, um, if you remember the last example, we figured out what the gradient was at when x equals to 2 for this function. Now a tangent basically is just a line that is going to have the same gradient as it touches that point. So it's going to look something like this. This blue line right here is a tangent. Alright, so how do we find equation of a tangent? Uh, I guess it's the best way to do it is through an example. Uh, let's just write me a question first. So here's the question. Uh, write the equation of, of the tangent to the curve y equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 when x equals 1. As always, um, I'd recommend this to you guys is just draw a quick diagram just to see what um, what you're trying to um, work out. It always helps in calculus. So there's my equation, and as you can see, uh, where the green dot is, where where x is equal to 1, and the purple line is the tangent. Now I want to work out the equation of the tangent. Now I know that for an equation of a line, I need a gradient and a point. Right now I have the value of x, but I don't have the value of y. So I know that f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 6 which means I could figure out the corresponding y value by substituting 1 in because x is equal to 1 so simplifying this I get 2 so the point that I'm working with is 1 and 2 and I guess the next uh, point that I gotta figure out well next not the next point is the next thing that I gotta figure out is the gradient or the slope of that tangent so I'm gonna work out f dash of x which the equation is uh, 2x minus 5 and now I need to find the gradient when x equals to 1. So f dash of 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 5, and the gradient is minus 3. So I have all the things that I need, which is the uh, gradient and the point, which means I could use equation of a line, uh, just in case you've forgotten it, that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now there's many uh, variations in how you write an equation of the line, um, but this is one of the ones that, I, that, I, that I'm familiar with. Um, so I'm going to use this one here. So I already know what m is, that's the gradient, which is minus 3. And I know what the, my two points are, which is, um, sorry, the, the point is, which is 1, 2. So I've got y minus y1, that's the y coordinate, which is 2, equals m, which is the gradient, which is minus 3, multiplied by x minus x1, which is just the value of x in this case, is 1. So simplifying this, I'm going to get y minus 2 equals minus 3x plus 3, and rearranging, I will end up with y is equal to minus 3x plus 5. And there you go, guys. That is how you write um, the equation of a tangent. Um, all right. Moving on from here. I guess the next thing that we need to have a look at is um, a normal to a curve. Now, basically, normal to a curve at a point is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent. So in this case, 
I'm still working with that same example. Uh, I know that the blue line is actually the tangent uh, when x equals to 2. So if it's perpendicular, I'm looking at the pink line here, which is the um, which is called the normal, and that has to be at 90 degrees or perpendicular. Um, which means I can once I figure out the um, the gradient of the tangent, I could actually work out the gradient of the normal. And the way it works is that the tangent gradient multiplied by the normal gradient should equal negative one. Uh, in some cases, people like to use this, where if the tangent gradient is written as m, then the normal gradient would be written as negative 1 divided by m. That's just another way of looking at it as well. Okay, uh, let's have a look at an example in this, uh, and then hopefully you get the hang of it. So in this example, I want to work out um, normal of a tangent. Basically, I want to write the equation of the normal to the curve y equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 when x equals to 1. So it's the exact same question that we worked with before where we worked out the tangent except this time we're gonna work out uh, the normal. So as usual we're gonna have a look at the graph there it is. Now the purple line remember it was a tangent so the normal would be the pink line that's going at 90 degrees so let's work this through. Now we already know that um, f of 1 was equal to 2 because from our previous um, example or previous working out and we also figured out that f dash of 1, the gradient, was minus 3. So from this point, we can actually figure out what the gradient of the normal is. Because we know that negative 3 times the gradient of normal equals negative 1. So which means gradient of normal is equal to negative 1 over negative 3, which gives us positive 1 thirds. So once we have this, we have the gradient and we have a point, and so we just use the equation of the line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and if we keep going, our point that we're working with is 1, 2, so y minus 2 equals, and of course the gradient this time we're looking at is the gradient of the normal, so it's going to be 1 third multiplied by x minus uh, 1, because that's the x-coordinate. So rearranging this, we're going to get y minus 2 equals x over 3 minus 1 third. And if we keep going, we should end up with y equals to x over 3 plus 5 over 3 as our equation for the normal. Okay guys, that's it for this session. Um, hopefully you got the hang of um, gradients and normals. Uh, thanks for watching.